Hey guys, we're back here and this is going to be the Solar Decathlon. Finally, we're at the competition itself. So I've taken you through the stages of development and design and then construction. Now here we are finally at the actual event. I went down this past weekend, it was down in Irvine and it was freaking awesome. So I'm going to be putting up a couple videos just to share with you what I witnessed myself and it was marvelous. Um, a lot of work done behind the scenes. I was only there as a volunteer to help give tours. But a lot of work was done behind the scenes by not only my team, but all the other participants, the volunteers, the staff, the organizers, the Department of Energy, everyone helping to put this magnificent competition together. And now it was technically a competition, but there was such a great spirit of collaboration. The people between the different teams working together, smiles on everyone's faces despite it being you know, over 100 degrees at times during the day. Even the people who trudged out here in the heat to learn about net zero housing to get you know, more involved. We had a lot of kids show up, a lot of great participation. It was just very, very awesome to be there. And I hope that you guys in the future, you know, will not only be able to attend this event or future events, but I hope I've perhaps inspired you or let you know about this type of event happening so that you can get involved yourselves in the future. It is a life changing event. I really, really recommend it to anyone who is at all interested. Um, it has a big benefit for those who participate, but also what we're trying to do is promote efficiency in the world around us. So the goal is awesome, the competition is awesome, and it's just a, you know, a great time overall. So we're going to go through kind of a quick walkthrough of the houses. I've been showing you here just a time lapse of everything being put together. Um, just goes to show how many moving pieces there are in this. This is again something that's led by students but it's hosted by the Department of Energy. If you don't know, the competition itself is to have net zero houses. So these are the houses displayed in front of you, put together by different teams. So the first one is gonna be Crowder College in Drury uh, University. This is Shelter Cubed. It's a disaster resilient home designed for style, simplicity, and security. They had a reinforced core to be extremely strong. The design initially called for an outer screen. Looks like they didn't deploy it. Next is gonna be California State with the house called Reflect. Very, very awesome with the rain collection system, vertical gardens, and efficient air to water heat pumps. And all of these just have beautiful architecture. The finished product is just unbelievable. And we all have our little electric cars sitting in the back. This is going to be Texas, Germany, so a joint venture. It's called Nexus Haas. And this, I had the pleasure of touring through this one, talking to the designers, and it was just beautiful. Big aquaponic system in the front with an integrated thermal water storage. Uh, display. I recommend you go check out uh, you know, all sorts of resources online to dive in deeper. This is going to be a very quick overview. Now over here we're going to be looking at the U New York City College of Technology. This is Dura House. It's got an urban design which can be stacked. Over here is going to be Clemson Indigo Pine. So they actually boasted that they emailed their design over rather than trucking it over. And the way they did that is they had everything designed sort of like in CAD. And then instead of shipping the parts here, they built it all here in California by putting their design through a, you know, a, a CNC machine and then slotting those pieces together on site. So truly impressive that they pulled that off. Over here is Cal Poly. That was, this is my house. We're going to go over this in a little more depth in a future video. So we're in the runnings, of course. This is going to be Missouri University of Science and Technology, the Nest House. So they were actually using repurposed shipping containers. So that is an awesome way to reuse um, these big, you know, refuse metal pieces that would otherwise go unused. They had a gray water reclamation system and a lot of home automation. And just the design itself looks beautiful. You can see a lot of these houses have clerestory windows. Now this next one is going to be Stevens Institute of Technology. This was perhaps one of my favorite ones besides our own. Uh, it's the Sure House and it was designed to withstand extreme flooding and hurricanes designed for the Jersey Shore where there's been a lot of devastation. You can see here the storm hatch that you can bring down to secure the entire house but it can also be retracted to make a nice comfortable living area so all these designs bring something fresh bring something new that is particular to where they're coming from and the client that they're addressing but all of this is supposed to promote sustainability in a different way and it's nice to see everything that the different teams did in fact bring together now i'm not going to be able to cover all the houses in my short walk short walk through here we're going to be taking left rather than a right so unfortunately i'm missing three of the houses but anyways the house in front of you here is going to be university at buffalo and state university of new york this is grow house kind of chuckle that that name but it's actually got a 320 cubic foot built-in greenhouse in the front that you're seeing through here so to be able to grow their own plants so not only sustainability in the sense of electricity but also in the way we you know get our food resources and the way we manage that and the way you're able to live off your own house so very cool designs thinking outside of the box a lot of the times now this is going to be West Virginia and Rome. Look at that nice arch. Uh, the design itself in the middle was built out of recycled shipping containers and it has a solar chimney. Now this last one is going to be Team New York Alfred. House's name is Alf. 
They had a hydronic radiant heat floor system and a 12 kilowatt PV system. So overall, I didn't get to cover all the houses, but I think you get the picture. It's awesome. A lot of people were there. Uh, Department of Energy, all sorts of people. The staff was amazing. I want to thank everyone who made this a possibility. All the visitors who came in and lined up in the extreme heat, the tour guides, it was all just a collaborative effort and it's really, really awesome. So again, I do recommend that you guys get involved with this in the future if you have the chance, either from a you know a visitor standpoint, but more importantly from a designer standpoint, if you can have the opportunity to, to work on one of these teams, I guarantee it'll be a life-changing event. You learn so much and just it's a really, really great hands-on experience. So definitely a fun event and um yeah, we got to learn so much. I wish I could have had more time to visit all the houses, but I'm going to have to check it out online and follow up with the news. You can check out the news yourself by checking the description below. I'll link to the Department of Energy site. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll be covering more of this in the future. See ya.